Up. But in Britain, we only have two channels of TV. And mm -hmm. if you watch the old British movies on, on TV now here, it's the same old men always on TV in Britain still. You know, they have a sort of school of actors. There's about three new people gone into the profession since I was 10. <laughs> so it's, it's a bit limiting, you know. Yeah. Oh, you do see uh, uh, yeah. all the same old faces. But the best thing about British TV is the live stuff, you know, like mm -hmm. plays and things like that. But uh, it, it just goes off at 12, you know. So if you, you have a choice in England of either going out to dinner mm. or watching TV, you can't mm. do both, like. But at, with America, it's great. You just sort of wake up and it's on and you, you get back after going out for an evening and it's still on. I it's beautiful. Yeah. It's yeah. nice if you're sick. I love you know, it. You know when you're yeah. sick and you're up I'm all night? I'm always sick. That's why I like it. So <laughs> <laughs> According to something I was but reading. But TV is all right, though, in a way. You know, they have all sorts of nice... Well, movies. it's not bad, my dear. <laughs> I'm getting used to British TV more than Japanese TV, of course, you know. Oh, yeah. I feel British sometimes, you know, that way. You do, does your accent change slightly when you're in England? I don't know. As yeah. People tell me that mm -hmm. I have Liverpool accent now. And she used to have an American accent uh, yeah. being educated here at those funny schools. Sarah now. Lawrence. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And... Uh, <laughs> it's a I funny place, stayed, isn't it? You know, I was there. Do, do, you have, do you still have friends from Sarah Lawrence that you're uh, in, in touch no. with? Ah, well, there was one Not turned oh, out yes, to be yes. a snide. Uh, Tell yes. him about that. A snide? No, well, yes. you see, a classmate of mine, uh, sort of about two years ago, that was when we weren't really that famous that we were together, but yeah. we were just the first getting... article in America on us both yes. since we got together. it was very important for me, yeah, actually, look. because we sort of, I was introduced to America through that article, mm -hmm. and she was a classmate of mine, so I thought, oh, that's nice. So uh, she came, and I thought, well, you know, since we are friends, so I should cook for her and all that, and I made a nice lunch for her. And then she wrote that, uh, what was it? That, oh, she said that um, uh, Yoko was, uh, looked fat like an old witch cooking. She was nine months pregnant and just had a miscarriage. And that... Uh, I resemble resembled Ernest, Ernest Baldney, you know. <laughs> well, you can see that she doesn't. And that was and this I, old pal that had sneaked in to see us. Did you do like Ernest oh, Baldney? No, no, I, mean, I like... But I just I want like to say Ernest Betty Baldwin. Rollins' legs. <laughs> was it Betty Rollins who yeah. wrote the article? Oh. Good old Betty, old pal of Yoko's. <laughs> Yeah. Betty and Rollins' I, legs. She says in about <laughs> <laughs> Betty Rollins' legs. <laughs> okay, I think we can leave that one out. Some, it's silly to be so bitter, but, isn't it? Oh, yes, this, but <laughs> there's something about her legs. I, I never noticed anything wrong with her legs when I was married to her. Did you? <laughs> you weren't looking, obviously. <laughs> she kept them long skirts on all the time. I so. was never. In Weren't fact, as a, as a matter of fact, no, I wasn't. You but she wrote an article recently in which she said I was delicious. Well, maybe she's uh, had a pill or something. <laughs> <laughs> right. But do you have... Uh, other, you don't go to reunions at Sarah Lawrence. You were only there about a year then, I gather. Uh, three years, actually. Mm -hmm. yeah. But yeah. I didn't want to graduate, you know. I was one of those early dropouts. I just felt it was so ridiculous to go another year. I just couldn't stand it. And uh -huh. in those days, people said, well, it's so silly to not graduate, you know, that bit. Because mm -hmm. you'll never get a job. Right, right. Yeah. I was a bit afraid of that, of course. <laughs> you'll never but, make it. Mm. That's what they told me, too. That y if you didn't finish school. Yeah. One maths master wrote, you're on the road to failure if he carries on this way. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever... Do you ever see your old schoolmates? Uh, uh, no, I've seen a few old school friends, not teachers. No. Yeah. Uh, most of them dislike me, except for one or two. You know. So I am always glad to remind them. Was there ever a teacher of their own that <laughs> incredible awareness they had? <laughs> was there ever a teacher who did inspire you? Yes, there, there was always one teacher in each school that would uh, usually be an art teacher, or an English language or literature kind of thing. If there's anything mm -hmm. to do with writing or art, I was okay at it. Anything to do with science and maths, I just couldn't get it in, you know. Yeah. So, I, but most subjects were science and maths because uh, supposedly they don't want artists. You know, <laughs> even at art school they tried to turn me into a teacher. They tried to discourage you from painting and, you know, why not be a teacher? Because then you can paint on Sunday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I decided against it. You know, your drawings are look a little like James Thurber's. Uh, well, I, I lot, used to love his stuff when I was a kid. Oh, did there was two people. Look like yeah. a bit like yours, you know, I think. Well, mm -hmm. he's older than me, so he oh, came first, so I look like him. <laughs> <laughs> I used to read nice those stuff when I was a kid. That, uh, three people I was very keen on, Lewis Carroll, Alice in Wonderland, Thurber, mm -hmm. and an uh, English... Uh, drawer or whatever you call him, called Ronald Searle. Ronald Searle. Oh, we yeah. get him over here. Yeah, so yeah. when I was about 11, I was turned on to those three. When mm -hmm. I was, well, I think I was about 15 when I started therberizing the drawings. You know.